This is Echo 3, and let's discuss a Moho mission. You can see a few screenshots of the craft itself, as I did not record the build. There is a lander slash rover with 2200 meters per second of delta V using four spark engines, a cruiser section with over 14,000 meters per second of delta V using a single nerve engine, a circularization and ejection stage with 2065 meters per second of delta V using a rhino engine and a booster section with 2700 meters per second of delta V using five of the Mastodon engines from the Making History DLC. This gives the craft a starting thrust to weight ratio of just over 1.2 on the pad. This craft is overbuilt for the mission, but this is only a sandbox game. In a career or science mode game, this craft would probably be carrying a lot of science equipment and maybe even a relay satellite to leave in orbit. In that case, the craft would probably be about right. I was struggling for inspiration this week, so I asked my grandmother where I should go. She doesn't know anything about the game other than it's a space exploration game, but she recommended Mercury. Since Moho is the Kerbal analogy for Mercury, I decided to go there. Thanks, Grandma, for helping me with this video. Moho is one of the more difficult planets to get to and from in the game. A uh, Moho mission is not as hard as, say, an EVE return mission, but it can still be a challenge. It is orbiting quickly around the Sun and is inclined quite a bit relative to Kerbin. Combined with its smaller sphere of influence and weaker gravity, it can be hard to get into orbit around this atmosphereless little rock. Since the craft I built has lots of Delta V, Val decides to depart for Moho at the descending node rather than a transfer window. This means the crew will be making several burns in interplanetary space. They will not be able to take advantage of the Oberth effect for most of the journey, but with Moho's tiny sphere of influence and the poor thrust to weight ratio of this craft, that will not be much of an issue. A typical Moho mission can take as much as 6,640 meters per second of delta V to go from low Kerbin orbit to get into orbit around Moho. Much of this depends on how much you need to change the inclination of your orbit to intersect Moho's orbit. Getting back to Kerbin can take about the same amount. Now with all the extra fuel in this craft, our Brave crew will be in good shape. So what we've done here is we've made our ejection burn and we are going towards uh, Kerbin, or sorry, going from Kerbin to Moho. And right now I am changing the inclination. I am still actually in Kerbin's uh, sphere of influence as I change the inclination. But what I've done here is we are now at the same inclination as uh, Moho, and it'll make just getting an intersect intersection uh, a little easier. Now I'm going to play around with my maneuver node here, and I'm going to try and lower my orbit around the sun on the far side. This will also have the added advantage of reducing my velocity relative to Moho so that when I do make my injection burn to get into orbit around Moho, I won't have to do as long a burn or spend as much delta V doing that. Uh, sometimes you can come into Moho so fast that your orbital insertion burn actually has to start before you're even in Moho's sphere of influence, and that just gets a little tricky. Now I'm setting up my maneuver node here and trying to set up a good close encounter. Now this is an interplanetary burn, it's not going to really take too much, but what this will do is this will give us a good encounter and then we'll be able to set up uh, our landing from there. I'm going to take it easy and here we go. This That's a good, good encounter there and then we'll just set up our orbital insertion burn. Here we go. Now I am using a mod called Better Time Warp which means that I can uh, use physical time warp even faster than normal. So what I have done here is I'm running I think at six times normal speed plus the video then is sped up by eight times. So I have really saved you guys a lot of time from some of these long burns. And even with the better time warp, I didn't have to sit there for 15 minutes for some of these burns. I would recommend the mod uh, if you don't have it. <laughs> I would say uh, it's, it's a good one to use. Now, landing on Moho is similar to landing on the Mun, if you've done that. Uh, it's just it's uh, similar, although it's got more gravity than the Mun. The listed Delta V requirements for a landing is 870 meters per second. Um, that's for like an ideal suicide burn. I would recommend having close to 1,000 meters per second. 
and about that much again for launching back into orbit if you're trying to rendezvous with another craft. My lander is of my own design. Honestly, it didn't work overly well. The front wheel does not have power or brakes, and I probably would have been better with a four-wheel design. I was just trying to be creative. The reaction wheels on the craft are powerful enough to right the craft if it flips over. I can see why tricycle designs are not overly popular. Anyway, we've landed and planted a flag, and since this is a sandbox save, there really isn't much else to do, unless we wanted to drive north and see the moho. Other than that, we will launch back up and try to rendezvous with our craft. First time I tried to do this, I had some weird glitch with my craft, and when I would pitch down, the craft would pitch down, and when I would pitch up, the craft would pitch down. Uh, so I had to redo this craft and redo the mission. I was, I don't know why it did that. I had some odd issues there. Uh, docking and rendezvous here. If you've seen my docking and rendezvous tutorial, that's pretty much the same as that. I'm just gonna point the docking ports together, line up and connect. We'll transfer the crew back over to our pod. And then I'm gonna use better time warp here uh, to set up our ejection back to Kerbin. I'm going to dump the lander as well. We don't need to take it back with us and that'll give us some extra delta V. Let's let's split up this burn into two burns. It'll just make it a little easier. The low thrust to weight ratio of this craft. Um, we're just going to be a little better off splitting this burn up. There we go. And then we'll set up our actual burn to Kerbin. This took a little while playing around, messing with the maneuver nodes. Uh, but we get it, and we got plenty of Delta V. We can make uh, corrections in uh, interplanetary space if we need to. So the, the craft is overbuilt. We're going to be fine. It's just sometimes I have to make some corrections here. We got it. Now, as far as uh, some of these mods, um, I hope Kerbal Space Program 2 includes some of the functionality like Kerbal Alarm Clock and other mods like RCS Build Aid. I find them really useful. Now, nothing I play with uh, affects the gameplay at all. Um, I, you know, I've got some visual mods and all, but everything I do a console player could do, it's just, you know, alarm clock and stuff. They just make the game nicer, they make it a little easier, but nothing of the functionality of the game has changed. Now we're going to get our Kerbin encounter here set up, just playing with my nodes. I've spent a lot of time doing that. Uh, I think playtime, this game actually took me uh, close to an hour and a half to play and record this. So I saved you guys a lot of that <laughs> by trimming this up and uh, speeding up the footage here. Here we go, we'll get our good Kerbin encounter. And I want to get close, I think we'll circularize around Kerbin. That way we'll just not risk burning up our capsule. We'll slow down our velocities here. I didn't put any additional heat shielding for this, so I've not tried taking these circular pods and landing them from interplanetary. Uh, usually I'll use one of the more Apollo style capsules and a heat shield. But we'll just circularize here and we'll be set. Now, if you like my content, uh, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions or would like a link to the craft file, just ask. This is a small channel and I'm able to respond quickly to any questions or anything you might have like that. All right, and we've got our deobert burn set up. We'll just do that and we will... I'm going to be kind of close to the desert launch site. Uh, we'll kind of be in between it and the main KSB center and land in the water. Okay. Oh, there's the crater. We're going to be in good shape. Hey, thanks for joining me on this discussion on a journey to Moho. See you next time.